there are two very no, no. simple questions why did you not do your homework homework is important for you to remember what you guys have studied yes abdul jabbar question 1 is it 50 degrees yeah question 1 the answer is 50 degrees and question 2 How much is AOB? First, tell me this. AOB is double forty. Huh, and that is eighty. Good, eighty degrees. Then this is eighty. So if that is eighty, then they are asking you to find angle OAB also. This one. How can we find angle OAB? Any idea? Okay, look at this pink triangle. OA, what is OA? <clears throat> Radius. Radius. So let's say R. What is OB? Radius. Radius. So this is an isosceles triangle or not? Yes, ma'am. So when it's an isosceles triangle, these two angles will be equal to each other. If this angle is x, this angle will also be x, right? Hmm. So now, ha. Huh, now can you tell me how much is angle OAB? Yes, sir. Isosceles triangle is equal to one eighty degrees, right? All angles. Ha. Huh. Any triangle, not just isosceles triangle. Any triangle, the sum of all the angles is one eighty degrees. Ma'am, <clears throat> fifty. Very good. So two x is equal to one hundred. X is equal to fifty degrees. Fine. So <clears throat> in the previous class, we had done the proof of this theorem: angle subtended by an arc at the center is double. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> okay, so the next theorem says angles in the same segment of a circle. <clears throat> are equal so if we have a circle and this is the center <clears throat> the angles in the same segment what does it mean that <clears throat> let's say you have you are drawing a chord so we know that when we draw a chord it divides the circle into Can someone tell me a chord divides a circle into what? <clears throat> yeah. What is this part called? This part. What is it called? It's okay even if you give a wrong answer. Chord. the c chord is this black line segment ab is a chord i am asking what is this green thing <clears throat> what is it called abdul jabbar what is it called i forgot it's called a segment okay the area enclosed between a chord and an arc of the circle is called segment and what is a sector sector is that area which is enclosed between two radii two radii and the arc of the circle so this is <clears throat> this is called sector and this is called segment got it yes see now this is a segment but this entire thing is also a segment why 
because what is the definition of segment segment is the area enclosed between the chord the chord this one is the chord and the arc of the circle so since this is the major arc that's why this pink portion is called the major segment <clears throat> and the green portion is called the minor segment but both of them are segments <clears throat> So the theorem says angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. So it means let's say we have a chord and that chord is making, uh, it's subtending angles not on opposite sides of the segment of the chord but on the same side of the chord. Basically what that means is let's say this chord subtends an angle over here at this point. Okay, and let's say it subtends an angle at this point. Let's say this is point P, this is point Q. So let's say it subtends an angle at point Q also. So AB, oops, <clears throat> A, the chord AB is subtending an angle at point Q. So this is that angle. This is that angle and this is another angle. <clears throat> Now, let's take a third angle. Let's take a point over here, which is R. Okay, please pay attention to this. Now, can you tell me which two angles over here are angles in the same segment? Same segment means this portion that I just showed you. That is called a segment. A segment, a part of the circle. Hmm. Who will tell me which two angles are angles on the same segment? <clears throat> hmm. These two are in the same segment, right? P and R. P and R are in the same segment. This is a major segment. Are you understanding this? If you're understanding, say yes, understood. Otherwise, I will assume that you didn't understand. Are you understanding this? What is the meaning of same segment? Hmm? Abdul Jabbar, did you understand or not? Yes. Okay, Muni. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then also understood. <clears throat> Fine. So this is called the same segment. So see, as you can see, the pink angle and the green angle, they are not in the same segment, right? They are not in the same segment. So they are not equal. Clearly, you can see that they are not equal. The pink one and the green one. But the green and the blue one are equal because they are in the same segment. So this is what the theorem says. We are not going to do its proof. <clears throat> Or if you want, we can actually. It's not that big of a deal. What we can do is we can just... Um, so just quickly do this. Quickly note it down. So we are going to join OA and OB. All right. <clears throat> so we need to prove... To show that angle APB is equal to angle AQB. So this R subtends this angle at the center, right? This arc. Which arc am I talking about? This arc. The minor arc AB. This arc subtends. So arc <clears throat> minor arc AB subtends an angle which angle angle aob at the center right also it subtends an angle angle apb at 
any other point on the remaining part of the circle. Remember, this is what we discussed. Angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any other point on the remaining part of the circle. So it subtends this angle at a, the remaining part of the circle. Meaning, apart from this pink part, we can talk about any part of this. So therefore, it's going to be twice, the, the uh, angle at the center is going to be twice the angle at P, right? So therefore, angle AOB is going to be twice of angle APB. If at any point you're not understanding or you want me to repeat, please ask me to repeat, okay? <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you're understanding. <clears throat> Similarly, <clears throat> this same arc AB, the same minor arc AB, the, why are we saying minor arc? Because AB could also mean, AB could also mean this arc, right? This is also from A to B, from the point A to the point B. That's why we need to say minor arc AB. <clears throat> minor arc AB subtends an angle. A, Q, B at point Q. Therefore, angle A, O, B is twice of angle A, Q, B. So, from equation 1 and 2, what can we say? Since A, O, B is equal to this and A, O, B is equal to something else. So, that means both of these things have to be equal to each other. So, from 1 and 2, we have APB, angle APB is equal to angle AQB. Okay, so that's all for this proof. <coughs> Next, if you have a circle and you draw the diameter, so what is this part called? What is this is an arc, right? This green one is an arc. What is the name of this arc? What is it called? What is it called? The green arc, what is it called? Uh, an arc. It is an arc, I know. I am asking, what is this arc called? Look at it. This is the diameter I said. This is center O. This is, let's say, AB. This is the diameter. And that arc is going Not from... Either. either diameter and the arc. But say, this arc is called the semicircle, na? Yes. You've even done this thing in one of the classes with Namrata, ma'am. Yes? So this arc is called a oh, semicircle. Uh, asking about the arc on the. Ha, huh, this arc itself is called the semicircle. Okay. Okay. If I remove this part, what what do I have here? This is a semicircle. Fine. So <clears throat> if you look at the fact that the diameter is a chord, right? The diameter is also a chord. So let's say if I have a chord over here. If I have a chord over here and it subtends an angle at this point, it's going to be some angle, x, y, z, any angle. Similarly, the diameter is also a chord and it is also capable of subtending an angle at any point. So the angle it's going to subtend at any point on the circle. Can you guess how much that is going to be? Any of you? Can you guess? Right. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. And can you be the question again? The question is, the diameter is a chord, right? And we know that chords will, they can subtend angles at some point on the circle. So this chord right here, which is called diameter, this diameter can also subtend an angle at any point on the circle. So let's say this is a point P, any point. I, am, I have drawn it over here. It could be over here also. 
you or it could be here here anywhere this point could be anywhere so the angle subtended by diameter on any part any point of the circle is going to be yes 90 degree 90 degrees very good it's going to be 90 degrees okay uh i will just show you a thing i made where did it go hmm just a minute. Okay, I can't find it. Never mind. Let's not waste time on that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Anyway. So, I made a, a graphical representation of this where you can see um, that how this is 90 degrees. Okay, but never mind. Uh, I'm not able to find it right now. So let's write this down in words. Angle in a semicircle is a right angle. <coughs> in other words, in other words, you can say that angle subtended by the diameter or a diameter rather a diameter of the circle on any point of the circle is going to be 90 degrees <clears throat> okay Done. Let's move on to the next one. If a line segment, I think we've done all these, but never mind. We'll just repeat them. Or one thing I'm going to do instead of writing it again. <coughs> yeah, this one. So, if a line segment joining two points subtends equal angles <coughs> at two other points, a line segment joining two points, A, B. This is the line segment they are talking about. Subtends equal angles at two other points lying on the same side of the line. Meaning that these two points, which we are talking about, these two other points, they cannot be on opposite sides of this chord. Okay? And have to be on the same side. <coughs> it says same side. These angles are going to be equal. If these angles are equal. If these angles are equal. Then the four points lie on a circle. Meaning that the four points are concyclic. Okay. So... That's just a theorem that you can note down. <clears throat> okay. Let's do Answer, let's do a few more questions. The sum of either pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180. <clears throat> sum of Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. What is a cyclic quadrilateral? A cyclic quadrilateral is one whose four points, the four vertices, lie on a circle that is called a cyclic quadrilateral so the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral 
is 180 degrees. So, for example, if you talk about this cyclic quadrilateral over here. <clears throat> uh, this one, P, Q, B, A. This is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. The sum of opposite angles in this is going to be 180. So, angle P plus angle B is going to be 180 degrees. This is what the theorem says. <clears throat> so, let's do questions on this. Let's do a question. So, here we have a circle. And we have, this is the center, this is A, this is C, this is B. Please note down the question because it's not there in the textbook. This is D. Okay, so this is our cyclic quadrilateral. <clears throat> Why is it cyclic? How do we know it's cyclic? Because <coughs> all four of its vertices lie on the same circle. And then here we have, when we join these two things, these two vertices with the center, basically you can say that this arc AC subtends an angle of 100 degrees at the center. Arc AC subtends an angle of 100 degrees at the center. <clears throat> you have to find the angles, find the measure of angles ADC and angle ABC. Yes. What should we find first? Should we find angle ADC first? Or angle ABC first? What should we find first? Achha, how can we find ADC and ABC? Can someone tell me? Think about it. Abdul Jabbar, you just now answered a few questions that were very similar to this. ABC is 50. Very good. So, angle ADC is equal to 50 degrees. Reason being, angle <laughs> subtended at the center is double the angle subtended at any other point. Acha, one more thing which I need to announce to all of you. I have announced this before. But once again, after every class, you have a short test which you are supposed to attempt at the portal. The portal from uh, where you, the Learnivio portal of yours. Please attempt that uh, test. It has only five questions. Only five questions. And that is related to the topics that we have covered in the class. So it's nothing new, nothing different. So just what you have studied in the class that is there in the test. And your marks are noted. Okay. So please attempt that test after every class. Is that understood? Understood? Okay. So, angle ADC, we found it is equal to 50 degrees. Now, angle ABC, the pink one, how will we find it? Zen, any idea? Munir? Now the same as AOC. The same as AOC. Okay, why will angle ABC be the same as angle AOC. Any reason for that?
ja? See. We know that look at look at this thing over here. What does this theorem say? Abdul Jabbar, can you read it? The pink one. Yes, hmm. Norm will be 50 minus 180. It will be 50 minus 180. Yes. Eight, so you can say. Ha, 180 minus 50. So angle ADC plus angle ABC. Because <clears throat> they are points in a cyclic quadrilateral. Na? Since AD or ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Please write it down the way I am writing it, okay? Therefore, opposite angles are supplementary. Supplementary. I don't have enough space. That's why. Don't like that. So, angle ADC we know is 50. So, angle ABC we can find. How much will it be? Yes, 130, right? Also, one more thing you could have, you, we could have thought of it like this. That if you forget about everything over here, see, this is 100, right? So the reflex angle is going to be how much? This reflex angle is going to be how much? Reflex angle 100 is going to be how much? 360 minus 100, na? 260. 260. So it's going to be 260. So if you think about it like this, the same thing which we applied, that the, the angle at the center, the angle subtended by the major arc, this major arc AC, at the center is 260. And the angle subtended by it over here at the point B, so it's going to be half of 260, the same thing which we applied here. Yeah? So that's why it's going to be half of 260 is 130. That's how we get 130. That's another way of doing it. Okay. Clear? Shall we move forward? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do a few more questions. Okay. Let's do this one. Well, I think we can do the extra questions later. Let us first do the questions in the exercise. So exercise, I think it's 9.3 according to the new book. What is it in the old book? In the old book, it is, let me check. It is exercise 10.5, yes? Okay, first question. In the figure, please look at your textbooks. This is the first question. Please write the exercise number. Please write the question number. <coughs> In the figure, A, B, and C are three points on a circle with center O. So there's a circle, center O. 
A, B, and C are not just three random points. No. They are three points such that angle B, O, C is 30. So let's say this is your B and this is your C. They have given the figure also. So angle B, O, C is 30 degrees. And angle A, O, B is 60. So this is A, this is B, this is C. This over here is 60 degrees. If D is a point on the circle other than the arc ABC, meaning that D is a point which is not on this arc, it is somewhere else. So meaning anywhere, they have taken it over here. Find angle ADC. Find angle ADC. First think about it. Before I give you the answer, Think about it. How can we approach this? You have to find angle ADC. Let me first make the photo completely. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. How will we find this? Abdul Jabbar? Hmm. Zain, any idea? See, look at this. Ha, Abdul Jabbar. Say once again. Add uh, a, a, O, B, and B, O, C. How much will you get? 90. 90, good. So basically, this part, this angle is 90 degrees, right? And we know that this angle is going to be how much? Half of it. 45. Half of it. Very good. So it is going to be how much? 45. 45. So let's write the answer. Angle... AOC is equal to 60 plus 30 is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle ADC is equal to half of angle AOC is equal to 45 degrees. Okay. It was just a one line answer. <coughs> Next question. There is a chord of a circle. There is a circle. This is the radius O. A chord of the circle is equal to the radius of the circle. So, see, if the radius is, let's say, R, then we need to find, we need to make a chord such that its length is also R. Let's say this one, okay? So the chord of the circle is equal to radius of the circle. Matlab, the length of both of these things. Find the angle subtended by the chord at a point on the minor arc. So any random point you can take at the minor arc. Let's say M over here. And any other point you can take on the major arc A. They are asking you to find... Okay. Abdul Jabbar, do you have the textbook? No, I'm going to go bring it. Are you should have the textbook before sitting for the class, na? Okay, don't uh, don't get up and go anywhere. I'll write the question. Um, a chord of a circle <laughs> is equal to the radius. Of the circle. I'm not writing off the circle of the circle again and again. Find the angle subtended by the chord at a point on the minor arc. The minor arc in this case 
is what this thing and the major arc as you can see is this one so we have to find the angle subtended by this chord let's call it bc angle subtended by it at a point on the minor arc which is going to be this angle over here which is very hardly noticeable <clears throat> <laughs> but a page number I think around 140 maybe I'm not sure it's 10.5 yes exercise 10.5 on the minor arc and also at a point on the major arc then Very good, not here. Okay, so you have to find these two angles. You have to find this angle and this angle. Got it? How will we find it? First, let's do one thing. First, let's connect OB and OC. Can you say something about the triangle that is being formed, triangle OBC? What kind of a triangle is it? Very good. So given BC is equal to radius of the circle. Okay. So therefore sorry? Radius is equal to BC. Yeah. So OB is equal to BC is equal to OC. So therefore, triangle OBC is an equilateral triangle. <clears throat> if it is an equilateral triangle, what will this angle be? Angle BOC will be how much? Yes, Abdul Jabbar? Equilateral triangle. Forget about everything else that you can see. Everything else, forget about it. Just look at triangle BOC. It is an equilateral triangle. We have just now said that it's an equilateral triangle. Every angle in an equilateral triangle is equal to how much? 60. 60. So angle BOC is equal to how much? 60. 60. So angle BOC is 60. So if angle BOC is 60, how much is angle BAC? 30. Half of 60 is equal to 30. Good. So now if this is 30, what can you say about angle BMC? Um, it will be 150. Very good. 180 minus 30 which is equal to 150 degrees. Okay. So in this chapter, you just need a lot of creativity. Meaning they will ask you a question and you will be like, oh, how do I answer this? What do I do? So you just need to think, ki, for example, in this question, they have told me that the chord is equal to the radius. Okay. So that means, so in the question, none of the, this figure was not given in the question. This is something we have to construct by ourselves. We have to think which piece of information I can use in which way. So, Zen? Yes, ma'am. Each angle in an equilateral triangle is equal to how much? Each angle. Huh. Each angle, every angle of an equilateral triangle. Yeah. Forget about circles right now. I'm asking you about triangles. Every angle in an equilateral triangle is equal to how much? Yes, then. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Please revise yeah, your... Please revise your... Uh, 60 degrees? 
yeah it is 60 degrees but please revise your triangles chapter okay <laughs> all right so next the third question they have given a figure if you want me to go slow please let me know in the given figure angle p q r is 100 so this is p this is r over here this is q Angle PQR is 100. <laughs> Excuse me. Where P, Q and R are points on a circle with center. O, find angle O, P, R. So they are asking you to find this angle. Very similar to one of the questions we've done in the beginning of this class. So what do we do in this case? In this, you'll have to use that reflex angle wala trick. Hmm. Yes, Abdul Jabbar. Can you tell me something about this angle if this is O? Can you tell me how much will this reflex angle be? Reflex angle POR is going to be how much? POR minus 360. No, this is not a cyclic quadrilateral. Yeah. Be very careful when it comes to this, okay? <laughs> this is not a cyclic quadrilateral. So, no, cyclic quadrilateral is one where all the four vertices are on the circle. Ha, huh, are you saying something? One is this... Uh... Equilateral triangle. No, no, it's not equilateral triangle. I am telling you, focus on the fact that this is an arc. Okay. It is subtending an angle at the center, which is this much. And it is subtending an angle at any other point apart from that arc, which is this much. How much will the angle at the center be? A. Oh, I mean, I mean. Yeah, yeah, this one. Not not this this not this angle. I'm asking about the reflex angle POR. This one which I have marked over here. How much will it be? Think, think. I'm gonna use uh, PQR to make get the answer. Yeah, yeah, you can see there are there are more than one. There's more than one way to get the answer in any question, okay? So right now, what I'm saying is I am trying to get you to think in one particular way. If you want, you can think in your own way. 100. But my question, 100 by 100. The angle at the center is dash the angle at any other point. What is the relation between... The angle at the center, which is over here, this one. Again, let's listen to the story again. The angle subtended by this green arc. The green thing is an arc. It is subtending an angle at the center, this reflex angle. It is subtending this reflex angle at the center. And it is subtending another angle at some other point, which is 100 degrees. So the angle at the center will be how much? I just now stated 100 degrees for a reason. Hmm. Think, think. Okay, tell me this. The angle at the center is dash the angle at any other point on the circle. <clears throat> yes. <coughs> uh, Abdul Jabbar, look here. Angle subtended at the center is dash 
the angle subtended at any, any other point. What will come in that dash? Double, right? Huh? So what did you say? 200. 200 degrees, yes. So it will be 200 degrees. So reflex angle POR is equal to 200 degrees. The reason is major arc. If you, if you just say arc PR, if you just say PR, arc PR, it could also mean the small arc. Hai na? That is why we need to be specific. Major arc PR subtends an angle of 100 degrees at point Q. Therefore, angle at center, please write it in this way, will be double of that. So that is why we have reflex angle POR is equal to 200 degrees. So if this is 200 degrees, therefore, angle POR, now the normal the normal angle POR is going to be how much? If the reflex angle is 200, the normal angle will be? Yes? 160. 160. Very good. So it's going to be 160 degrees. Now, if this is, so let's write it. Angle POR is equal to 360 minus 200 is equal to 160 degrees. Now look at the in triangle POR. Can someone tell me what kind of a triangle is triangle POR? Anyone? Right angle. Mm, how is it right angle? Yeah, it's not a semi. No, no, but semicircle means the cord should be passing through the center. That means it's a diameter. Over here, there is no diameter made anywhere. They have not made any diameter anywhere. If the di diameter subtends at angle at subtends an angle at any point on the circle, this angle subtended by the diameter will be 180 degrees. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So that is a different story. Here, what we are seeing in I am asking you about the triangle <coughs> POR. Look at it and tell me what kind of a triangle is this triangle POR. Okay, OP is what? Radius. Radius. OR is? Radius. So now, can you answer my question? POR is what kind of triangle? Equilateral. Is it given anywhere that PR is equal to the radius of the circle? No. No. Now, can you tell me? A triangle whose two sides are equal is called? Isosceles. Very good. So, in triangle POR, it is an... So we can just write angle P triangle POR is an isosceles triangle since PO is equal to RO is equal to radius. <clears throat> okay. Therefore, by isosceles triangle wala property, What does it say? That if this angle is X, then this angle is also X. So, we, I'm not going to write this. This just, <clears throat> therefore, X plus X plus 160 degrees is equal to how much? 180. 180, very good. So, can you tell me how much will X be? Um, 20. Yeah. 10 degrees. 10. Okay. 